Welcome back to another edition of Gray Hair and Tattoos. My name is Lonnie and today we are going to take a look at my closet. Now the other day I walked in my closet and I was like, ooh, kind of, it kind of has like a little disaster zone kind of vibe. But it's that time of year. It's that time of year that I have to put away my summer stuff. I have to start getting ready for winter and I have to figure out what items I still am going to be wearing and what items I need to donate to charity. I purge my closet at least two to three times a year and I've gotten pretty good at it. I can figure out the items that I'm gonna keep for years and then the other items, I have these five tips and tricks that I've learned that tells me whether or not I need to keep it or donate it to charity. So I'm gonna tell you what those five items are. I also put some links down below. There's some Amazon links down there just for some items that I use in my closet and some storage items, stuff to help you purge and organize your closet. So don't forget to like and follow and let's tackle that disaster zone that is my closet. The first thing that I always look for is, does it fit? I don't necessarily mean, you know, is it too big or is it too small, but does it fit my body? We all have different body types and some things look better on different body types than they do mine. And one of the examples of that is these Joe jeans I've had. I've had these forever and I actually really used to like them a lot and now they just don't fit my body. They're too tight on the leg and they're too loose in my midsection and they just aren't flattering on me. I don't feel good when I'm wearing them. So I consider them not fitting and I'm not gonna keep them. Now I'm gonna give you a second part to this tip because this has happened to me and I really wanna let you know this one. Now, sometimes I'll go into my closet and I'll try something on and it's just either a little too snug or a little too loose. What I find is that my body fluctuates. Sometimes it's this size and sometimes it's that size. So what I do if that happens, if I try something on and it's just a little snug or it's just a little loose, I'll set that aside for 30 days. I'll give myself 30 days before I give that item away. Because the last thing I wanna do is just be in kind of one of those moods where I'm like, oh great, my pants don't fit again, I'm gonna get rid of them. And then find out a month later, I'm like, oh, I could have worn those pants. So don't be too quick to give your items away if they're just a little too tight or just a little too loose. My second tip for you is look at the color. Do you like the color? And does the color still look good on you? I know sometimes we get into these phases where we're like, oh, I really like this color. And then six months later, you're like, ooh, I don't like that color. If you don't like the color of something, that's not gonna change. Just donate it, it's not gonna change colors. And then the second part to this one is if the color doesn't look good on you. And what I mean by that is when I used to have brown hair, I could wear different colors. Now that I have gray hair, I've had to like be like, oh, but I really like that color. And I'm like, well, too bad, Lonnie. It doesn't look good on you anymore. So make sure the color of your item flatters you. The last thing you wanna do is put a sweater on and then have everybody walk up to you and be like, hmm, are you feeling well today? You'd be like, yeah, I feel great. It's just the color of my sweater. So just make sure you like the color and make sure the color likes you. Tip number three if you don't wear it. If there's something setting in your closet that you have to literally wipe the dust off of, chances are you're not gonna wear it after you purge your closet. And I have pieces like this and I do this to myself all the time. I'll be like, oh, this is really cute, I'm gonna wear it. And then I never wear it and it sets there. I'm talking about if you have 14 pairs of black sweaters and you only wear two of them, Think about weeding it out and just getting rid of those items that set in your closet and they have no purpose. And this way, it gives you room to put in some new fresh items that you're actually gonna wear and you're actually going to enjoy. Now this tip is not for your vintage pieces. I have some pieces in my closet that are, are vintage and I only take them out to wear them on specific occasions. That's totally different. Number four, if you have any trendy pieces in your closet that you have not been able to wear, get rid of them. Sometimes I get all excited about a new trend and I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna wear this and I'm gonna make this so cute and I just can't make it cute. It doesn't mean the item isn't cute, it just means I don't look cute when I'm wearing it. And the example for this one is, is I bought this cute little crop sweater and I knew I was gonna be able just to style it in the cutest ways. 
and it is really cute and every time I put it on, I feel so weird and so awkward. I know right now that my visions of what I thought I was gonna be able to do with this piece just isn't gonna work out. So if you have something that you thought in your mind was gonna work out but you just can't make it work, cut your loss, donate it, and move on to something that will work for you. Tip number five, this one's really easy, but if you have anything damaged, it's time to let it move on. And I'm talking about stains, I'm talking about rips, I'm talking about really worn shoes. The last thing you want are shoes that are all scuffed and scratched, because you can have a nice outfit, and then all of a sudden you look down and you're like, ooh, sorry about my shoes. So if you have any damaged items beyond repair, then just go ahead and send them on their way because you want everything in your closet to be nice and clean and undamaged. So those are my five tips that I tell myself each and every time I go in to purge and clean my closet. Now, another thing that I do while I'm doing that is I'll go ahead and I'll take a look at my shoes. I like to take a little inventory of my shoes. I like to see how they're holding up. Are they scratched? Are they dirty? Do they need to be repaired? I'll polish all my Doc Martens. I'll make sure that I have all my insoles in my boots. So take this opportunity to just kind of look at your shoes, give them a little love, and that way they will last for a very long time. Last thing I do when I'm cleaning and purging up my closet is I'll actually take a closer look at my basics and I'll just make sure they're in good condition. I love wearing white tank tops, and right now my white tank tops are looking a little sad. They're dull, and some of them actually have some stains on them. So I'm gonna get rid of those, and I'm gonna reorder myself some new basics. You have to start with a really cute, clean foundation, and from there, everything else is gonna look great. So those are my tips for cleaning out my closet. I absolutely love a well-organized, clean closet, and I really like the feeling of walking into a closet and knowing I like everything in there. There are days that I walk into my closet and I'm like, I don't like anything. And I know at that moment to not give anything away because I've already purged my closet. I've already done it when I'm not in one of those funks. So I'll just be like, it's okay, Lonnie, just relax, wear something all black. Tomorrow you're gonna love everything in your closet again. So just by purging your closet and going through it and keeping those items you like, if you ever have one of those funky days, tell yourself, nope, nope, nope. I already know I like everything and this too shall pass. I hope you liked my tips and as always, remember to like and follow because you just never know what style trend I'm gonna be talking about or whose outfit I'm gonna be recreating next. So until next time, remember, wear what you want and go clean your closet. I will see you on the next episode. Bye.